Hi. Welcome to this short demonstration of one of the new magic formulas in Excel, Unique. So if you've gone through the accompanying text, blog tutorial post I've made, uh, that will make it a lot easier for you to follow along with this demonstration. So this is how Unique works. It allows you to get the unique list of entries from a range of, of, of values. So I'm going to pick an entire product list. Um, and then that is all. I close the bracket. I press enter. And as you will have expected from a regular formula, the only difference is this spills over into multiple cells. So just this one formula comes up with a, an array of answer that spills into other cells. Okay. Maybe I'll do that again. In here, I type unique. I select a range of value, right? So that you'll see how the formula, how the formula is typed. Okay, so you can see. All I do is a uh, regular enter, and you see it spills over into the cells beneath it. Now, the real cool thing about it is the fact that other formulas can take advantage of that. Take, for instance, count if. I want to count the, the transactions that are for each of these products. As usual, count if requires you to put the range. Then it asks for the criteria. This is where things are slightly interesting, uh, different. Uh, I'm not going to pick as what we are used to picking one cell. Now I'm going to pick the entire range of answer from the unique formula and you will notice something happen. It puts a, a pound sign in front of it. Okay. So this is what makes it really interesting. It comes up with answer for everything. And likewise for some if, the same pattern, I select the range. Again, for criteria, I pick the range of uh, outcome that came from that unique and for the sum range because i'm doing for quantity i pick the quantity field and again voila for total sales similar step the range comma the criteria comma the sum range and boom done okay and uh, the real cool thing about it is when things change here it automatically changes here so if i say we have a new pizza type uh, the moment i do that you'll see it is showing in, in here okay and take for instance you want to have this sorted I'm going to do that in a different uh, demonstration. But then again, uh, I will go to what if I want to be able to add new records. So as this is now, if you had a new record, if you have a new record, uh, this will not capture that. Because we have this locked to a range that is outside of where the new record is. Okay. So what some people do is they, you know, had on use cells, you know, they make the range a lot longer than what data they currently have. But then a neater version will be you just converting this to a table. You know, Control T, you know, format as table. I've done it already, that's why it's not showing. But then, you know, if you do this format as table, which I have done, right, then you will see that uh, the same formula on all of these now makes it very interesting that whenever I had the new record, it's able to pick it up. So I'm going to do count. range um, I 
can even make life easier for me take advantage of the fact that i have created this as a table and not even pick the entire row b column b so whichever the main magic is in the fact that when you convert this to a table it makes it it makes it uh, without you having to add on use cells you can be able to you can be able to capture additional entries okay. Let's demonstrate what I tried with the other example. I had a new product type, extra beefy. I see it sells for 2,500. We sold the uh, eight quantity in this particular transaction. And uh, maybe this very same time. Ah, here's the magic. Can you see it's showing up here without me having to do anything in addition? Though this is what now makes this very, very interesting. Huh? And uh, if you read the blog post I've written about it, I compared how this is better than having to use a pivot table that requires you to do a manual refresh or using a remove duplicate and count if and sum if because every time there's an additional uh, product type, you will have to redo the remove duplicates. So thank you.